Hey Ziggy, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Yo, come check out my workout. Let's see what's happening. Welcome. All right, Ziggy, it's gym time. How often do you work out? Work out every day, no matter what it is. I have to get something done. Has your exercise regimen changed over time? Yeah, I get bored sometimes, so I'm always switching it up. My exercise regime is whatever I want it to be. What inspired you to get fit? Well, I feel good when I'm fit, and I like feeling good. So exercise helps me release stress, and make me look good too. What's your favorite part of working out? My favorite part of workout is probably during the middle or the end. That's when I really get into it. The beginning type of slow, but then once I start going, I'm really like going. Do you use a trainer? Yeah, I work out with trainers sometimes. I work out with my, my son, Gideon. We do a lot of workouts together. What type of training do you do? With all type of training, man. Sports, martial arts, boxing, anything, anything with physical activity we do. Did you ever study martial arts? Yeah, man, I'm studying some jujitsu and self-defense. You know, yeah, I've studied martial arts. I think it's important. A good exercise too. What do you listen to when you work out? I listen to um, Rage Against the Machine, some Bob Marley too, some Wheelers, sometimes some Biggie and Tupac and Dre and those guys, you know. Yo, yeah. old school, old school sit-ups. Yes. What are your fitness goals? The most important muscle is the heart muscle. So my fitness goal is to always have a strong heart. And that's the muscle that means the most. You can have like a big biceps, chest and legs, but if your heart ain't strong, none of the other muscles matter. So I think that's my goal to keep my heart muscles very strong. Do you use any special equipment? I use some equipment this here. Now this, we call it appearance. Uh, this one was made by my brother Rohan, he gave it to me. And this is something that we used to say our father used. So we made one like it. It's not the pla cheap plastic stuff. This is a real deal. And you can't get this in the stores. Put to some Peloton sometime on the own machine. But otherwise than that, my body is a, is, is, is a machine. Do you have any scars? Scars, not a few scars. Some disappear by now. I a scar right here. Got an elbow during a game once. And, uh, some scars all over my leg and stuff like that. But that's about it. Do you have a morning routine? Morning routine. I don't have any routines. My routines is free. I do what I feel like to do. How do you keep your mind fit? I keep my mind fit by learning new things. Things that I like to do like building models, solving puzzles. I just think about the most. The most things I can think about that have no answer like oh, when I look up in the sky it's infinite. Like I keep my mind fit by doing that. I'm using my imagination too. I have to exercise my mind. Making music obviously is a part of my mind fitness. Writing songs, playing guitar, it's beneficial for the mind. All right, Ziggy, let's see that fridge. Yo, all right, so uh, welcome to my fridge, my little oasis in my home. What staples do you always have in your fridge? The staples I always have in my fridge include some kombucha because good for the digestive system, probiotics and stuff like that. My health starts inside of my gut, so I want to keep that good and that helps me. We have um, some plant-based proteins from Garden of Life, which I like. Eggs, of course, eggs is my go-to um, protein. And we also have this, which we make here. Um, it's ginger, boiled ginger. I call it ginger water. Sometimes I just drink this by itself. It's very strong. Also, one of my favorite things to do is, uh, yeah, favorite thing is eat some raw garlic. Some people don't like that, but I don't care. Raw garlic good for me, and I, I enjoy having that. And I also enjoy my avocado staples, yes. How are you avoiding turning to comfort food? Oh, I don't avoid it. Um, if I feel like eating some comfort food, I, I eat it. If I feel like having some sweets or whatever, I have it. I don't like do it for days upon days upon days. I like, you know, we, them call it a cheat days. I might have a cheat day or whatever. But I live kind of freely, you know? How has your diet changed over time? Um, I don't, we don't call it diet. We call it live it because we're diet in something that's supposed to give you life. It don't work for me, so I said, my live it. So my live it has changed. You know, once I gain more knowledge throughout the years, I mean, I've cut out a lot of bad stuff, I would say, um, sugary stuff. A lot of bread, a lot of, you know, the processed, processed food, I've, I've cut out a lot of that throughout the years. 
fast food. When I was younger, we used to have some fast food. That, that's done. And so, you know, we just try to um, change, we live it as we, as we grow more knowledge of what's good for us. And as we listen to our bodies too, because your body speaks to you. I listen to my body. What did you say, body? All right. How does your limit change when you're on the road? When I'm away from home, I don't really miss anything because I carry everything with me usually. And usually it's just really nuts. The world has become so health conscious now that like you can find good stuff anywhere. Like even anywhere I go, I could find something healthy to eat that will make me feel good. So I don't worry about it. What would we never see in your fridge? What you would never see in my fridge is alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. Except kombucha have a little alcohol, but that's all right. Uh, meat, pork, you won't see any of that stuff in my fridge. What do you eat for breakfast? What I eat for breakfast, uh, sometimes it's some oatmeal with some nuts. Sometimes I even go like molasses. Um, we we'll call it wet sugar from Jamaica, some molasses. Do you cook? Yeah, I cook. I've been cooking for a long time. My go-to dish is probably some fish dishes from Jamaica. Steamed fish with some okra or some fish soup because it makes it strong, you know? Put some in the air, you know? So, <clears throat> so everything in Jamaica, with Jamaican food. <clears throat> what food do you hate? No, I'm not a, I'm not a hateful person. Uh, even to food. People food, no, I don't hate nothing. Uh, why should I hate some kind of food? I don't know. I, don't know. I have no hate in me, I'm sorry. What's your go-to comfort food? My go-to comfort food is usually something sweet. I like cinnamon rolls. I like cupcakes. Go-to protein? My go-to protein is either fish or eggs, really. That's the where I get most of my protein from. What's the toughest diet you ever tried? Toughest diet? I don't do diets. I've never tried a diet. I mean, I've changed and adapted my way of eating, but I've never tried any diet that somebody had made up and say, here's a diet, go try a diet. I don't do that. I do livids and I make them up myself. I don't follow people with it, so I have to listen to my body. What do you eat if you're hungry at 2 a.m.? Who's hungry at 2 a.m., man? 2 a.m., like, I, I don't eat at 2 a.m. It's crazy to eat that, that time of the night. Your body, your body need time for it. Chill out, you know, you got me time to chill out before the next time. Do you take any supplements? I don't take supplements. I mean, I used to take supplements, but then I figured out if you eat properly, you know, then you don't need supplements. Food is your supplement, so you just have to eat properly. Every now and again, I might do some vitamin C if I feel like I might be catching a cold or something like that. I just, you know, I add some extra vitamin C, but you know, one, one supplement that I do like that I do is the fish oil. Um, that's the only thing I do consistently, fish oil. All right, y'all, that's my fridge. Keep fit, keep healthy. And sometimes we can have a cheat day, all right? Love. Wait, before we go, it's time for rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m.? No. Squat or deadlift? Both. Favorite song on playlist? Those that brought forces are the ones that brought crosses. I don't know the name of it. It's Rage Against the Machine, but I know that line. CrossFit, yeah, your name. Yeah, man, everything goes. Crossfit. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Both. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Kettle. Run on treadmill or great outdoors? Outdoors, man. Cardio or weights? Cardio and weights. Big legs or big arms? Legs. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, cut, or swole? Cut or ripped, one of those two. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Rock, the rock. Bruce Lee, too. Pele, Pele, too. Sure.